it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. <laughs> We're doing the uh, New Year's Eve hat today. Um, I didn't put the strings on it yet, so that's why. And my hair is crazy after wearing a headband all day. But I'm going to show you what this looks like. Put this back on. Make it look a little bit more presentable. Okay, so I absolutely love this SVG file. The only thing is I chose such specialty paper that was kind of thick to cut. So my, um, my little shot got kind of messed up in this top layer, but I think it still looks really, really good. Um, you know, I did the New Year's Eve kind of like fancy colors, so you could change that up for sure. This one kind of, you can see it got too thin and it messed up, but I think it's still fine because we're layering it and it's still I, such a good visual of t what's to come in 2021. So anyway, let's do this. So the party hat template is in design space. This is from Creative Fabrica. I just love the font. I love everything about it. So, all right, let's get started. The first thing is, like I said, this is in design space. So it's up to you how big you want it. I've done this hat as small as three and a half inches. And this one is, um, it looks like it's five, almost, almost five and a half inches. So a good two inches bigger than the cute little mini hat that I did before. But all you have to do is just resize it. Let's see where I can put this so that you can still see it. All right, does that look good? <laughs> but you can see the layers. So I just love... All right, that's not gonna work. Um, anyway, so you just size it up in design space for how big you want. The reason why I went with this size is I wanted to make two hats on one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. This this is the one that takes two, um, that takes a whole sheet of the cardstock is two of these. Everything else was just like minimal. Okay, so all you need to do is, I have my glue gun plugged in on the side. Um, you fold this in. And the first time that I did this, I used really thick glitter cardstock. And let me tell you, it was so hard to fold. And I realized, you know what? I should have thought of this like, um, like we do with paper flowers, right? We always recommend doing 65 pound paper because anything harder is, or anything thicker is too hard to um, fold without creases. And I should have thought the same with the hat. But in my mind, I was just thinking I wanted to do... Um, what should I call it? I wanted to do glitter cardstock because I didn't want, I want it to be festive. And then I also thought it would hide my flaws more easily, but it was really, really hard to fold. On top of that, it was the three and a half inch hat. So it was, I definitely didn't do myself any favors with that, with that project. So when you get to here, it gets a little bit hard to fold. So you want to kind of tuck it in at the top and then squeeze this in. But if you look on the inside, what I like to do then is the bottom is easy to fold, right? So I sort of like to, um, I like to put my glue gun in here and do the bottom and kind of just seal it up. So all I have left to do is to fix this top portion. So I'm gonna let that dry right here. So I do the crease and then the little foldy pieces. That way, as this dries, then I can squeeze, ooh. <laughs> I can squeeze this in and hold it, and then also then glue that portion. So you can kind of see that looks better. So what I would do is I would hold it right here and then stick the glue gun down and try to get that part sealed in. But just be careful because I am using really thin glitter cardstock. It's almost, it feels like 65 pound paper. It was the cheap cardstock. But sometimes it's good to have the cheap one because it folds easy. Um, so I'm gonna hold it like this and make sure that I still like it. Okay. And then I'm going to try to get my glue to come down there. Okay, and then we're just gonna hold this for, um, I don't know, just a little bit to, to have it dry. Um, okay, so then the hat is complete. So you can see the hat, and it's on the back side. So I like that too, because it just doesn't matter. Um, all right, this is drying pretty well. I didn't, I didn't hear it move or anything when I did that, but it's 
so slippery, this paper. Okay, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer because it popped out a little bit. Now everything else I want you to layer. So you can kind of see my layers here and then I really glued it down to make sure that it's not gonna fall off. Um, I used foam squares, foam tape, to get all my layers in. So you can kind of see like it has a lot of layers. It's really, really pretty. Um, so, and it has even the back. So everything's gonna have, the back though is only going to be touching a little bit on the hat. So I would only do the foam tape right along the zero in the back, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. And then flip all these over and do foam tape. Now I'm sort of a stickler about um, things going on glitter cardstock. So the layer that's gonna be on, the middle layer is your glitter cardstock. So the top layer I will use the foam square, but I'm also gonna use my glue gun just to make sure the foam square is to give me the depth that I want, that layer feel, and then the glue gun is gonna give me like, it's gonna stick on there and not pop off. Okay, so I'm gonna put this hat down because I think it's good now. Let's work on this. So here are my foam squares. I just, you know, I hate the foam squares because it takes so long to peel off. Um, but I do like it because it gives you such good consistent depth I know it's I guess you you win some you lose some um, so I'm gonna put that there on the shot I'm gonna put it as well all right then on this on the top layer I'm also gonna put it down So this one feels really, this little shot tip right here, let me see. It feels really thin, so I'm just gonna run my glue gun across it to see if I can get it to be a little bit more stable. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that down, put my All my foam squares down. So, you know, with the hats and kind of, I feel like almost with every project these days, the layers really makes it, just really adds to it and gives it a very complete look. Now, if you're, I know, if, if you're gonna be wearing this hat and it needs to stay on for more than 15 minutes, I, you know, I get a little bit nervous, so I wanna make sure that everything's down. So I will glue the tape down to the paper as well. So I'm just gonna hit it like this. So like my foam tape's not going anywhere. <laughs> I know I get really, really paranoid. And then that way, at the end, I'm gonna pull off the tape. And then you can see I'm tape, I'm doing this on my self-healing mat. I love this mat from Cricut. Um, I cut everything on it, I do everything. All right, so on this one, remember, I'm going to put it more on this part of the zero because that's where it's, that's kind of like the center that's gonna go on the hat. That's the only portion that's gonna touch the hat. So I'm put it right there. Okay, so while that is down, let's flip. I think I can flip that over, okay. Um, all right, so let's peel off. See, this part drives me insane. And then afterwards, I have these little thingies everywhere. <laughs> okay, um, all right, so. I have this, right? It's going on the metallic one, so I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna stick it right on. I 
Um, I do like the really mini hats though. I think they're so cute. They kind of remind me of the, um, like the ring circus leader or the ring leader, circus ring leader. <laughs> I know my English is horrible right now. Um, so anyway, we did that for the Mickey Mouse hat, which I have not released the video yet, but um, you may have seen it on my Instagram. So um, I think for little kids and even for adults, they just remind me of those Halloween hats where it's like the mini hat. I think it's so cute. All right, so let's put this down. Oh, it moved on me. And this project's super easy. So once we're done with this, it just goes on the hat. So it's all about the layers to get you to see how pretty it is. All right, so this layer, I'm going to also use my glue gun. So I'm pulling this off. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna have the glue gun hit a little bit. So it's like half sticky, half glue. Just because I'm so paranoid about this falling off. Same thing with this too. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm just making sure it dries parallel and everything is good. So I'm holding it for a split second while it's drying. Um, so this file again is from Creative Fabrica. If you don't have an account with them, then you can buy each individual font and image as you you know as you like. Um, I do have a membership with them, so and I have a code. So if you want to try it out, um, I highly recommend it. Um, it's thirty percent off your membership every month. So it's the Useless Crafter thirty, and that's your promo code. And what I like about it is um, all those images, you can go and get outlines, right? Because it's not a design space image. It's, uh, it's an image from somewhere else that I can upload into Inkscape, do my outline, and then upload it into design space. And with the fonts, what I really like about the fonts is the My Membership comes with commercial usage, so I can sell, you know, I don't have to keep track of my, of my fonts and they, the selection of Fonts is so much better than Design Space. And again, with those fonts, I can get um, an outline, so, which I feel like every project, almost every project needs an outline. Okay, look how pretty that is. It's like the glitter is kind of coming through, but not taking so much attention. It's just a little, little glitter. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to pull off the tape and I'm gonna let it actually stick to the thing and then I'm gonna glue all around it to make sure that it's super stable and it's gonna stay on. So with the hat, um, I have my seam here, so I'm gonna do the opposite side for the seam and put my um, image down. So once I have my image down, I'm gonna hold it like this and then flip it to the side and I'm gonna pour glue down, like a lot of glue to make sure this stays. Okay, so that's one side down and this paper is really thin so it's hot I'm gonna put it down get more glue get a glue stick and okay I always feel like I have a hard time at the beginning okay um, I'm gonna pick this back up and it's still really hot on the inside of the hat I can feel it okay I'm gonna flip it over this way And then I'm gonna do glue. So I'm gonna do glue down the side of this, and then I'm gonna glue on the top and the bottom. I really wanna make sure this thing stays on because I don't want, that's the whole hat. If that falls off, it's kind of sad. <laughs> okay. So you can kind of see where my glue is. It's there, it's on the top and on this side as well. So I'm gonna turn this over. 
and I want to give it a lot of support while it's drying. Oops, I need to push down my glue stick. And then I just need the bottom. So you can see I'm really filling it up. This thing is not going anywhere. Okay, perfect. Oops, and I have confetti from before. So there's this hat and this hat. The only thing left is I would put this string on the inside and I would just glue it. You can either hole punch. This one's thin enough that it's easy to hole punch. I would hole punch, put the string through with glue as well just to make sure it stays. And that's it. So happy new year. Um, thank you for joining the channel. And if you have any comments, please post it here. Questions, uh, feedback, anything. And then if you have a special request, I always take those and I really want to help you guys out. Um, cause I remember how hard it is to customize and design stuff at the beginning. So anyway, give me the details and I will do the tutorial. Um, that's the one thing I like about design space is that it doesn't, the one good reason why it doesn't let me send files is that that means when I create these tutorials in order for you to actually make it, you have to recreate it on your desktop. So it feels good for me to know that you're learning. So anyway, if you need to send me a file or send me super uh, detailed stuff, it's Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. Um, other than that, I will see you in the new year. Thanks, guys.